Hi welcome back to Maddie Recapped. Today I'm going to explain a teen, romantic comedy film from 2018 titled, The Kissing Booth. Spoilers ahead. Watch out and take care. The movie begins with two best friends, L. Evans and Lee Flynn. One day Lee's elder brother Noah shows up while the friends hang out in the swimming pool at Lee's house. L finds that her secret crush on him still lingers. The problem is that Lee established rule number nine of their best friend rules, which states that L is not permitted to fall in love with Noah. Soul needs to let go of whatever feelings she has for her best friends. Older brother L gets in trouble at school when she wears her uniform skirt extremely short and a boy grabs her lady lumps Noah her budding crush defends her and they both are reprimanded after school while Lee is trying on clothes that can capture his crushes attention L thinks of a kissing booth they can put up for the carnival fundraising event the following day while in detention the boy says he's sorry dwell by wearing a skirt too everyone in the room laughs at his ridiculous look except for Noah he is annoyed that L accepts the apology quickly she even agrees to go on a date with her classmate that night on L's date she is excited and jittery to her disappointment the boy stands her up hours later she hangs out with Lee for comfort after the rejection her date suddenly shows up surprising L when he explains that Noah prevented him from attending their date by threatening him and it's just not him because apparently Noah is threatening anyone who dares to ask L out L confronts Noah about it but he claims he is only protecting her because she has no dating experience which upsets her even more when Alan Lee returned to school they pitched the concept of a kissing booth to the student council. However because they are uncertain of its acceptance L lies stating that A-listers like Noah Flynn would work for the booth. She is determined to inform him about her relationship with Noah later. Before leaving she creates an excuse to return to Noah's room and comfort him. She kisses him but she is terrified when Lee notices. Lee runs away and L follows, apologizing for keeping the relationship hidden but Lee is so outraged that when Noah arrives to explain his side he refuses to listen and instead blames his elder brother. Lee attacks Noah but because he is weaker than his older brother he can't win. He attempts to flee the scene in his car but L aims to stop him. Lee expresses his jealousy of his brother for obtaining everything he desired. The one thing he has that Noah doesn't is L. Then he drives away completely disregarding L. Noah approaches L but she scolds him for not staying in his room as she had instructed. Noah believes L is unjust by blaming him for everything so he drives away on his motorcycle. Noah is regularly absent from school during the next couple of weeks threatening his graduation while Lee completely ignores L. L recounts their seventh rule which states that no matter how angry you are with your closest friend you should forgive them if they give you ice cream. L gives Lee ice cream but he still doesn't say anything to her. Meanwhile Noah reappears to tells father that he has no regrets about how he feels about L and is serious about her. Lee finally approaches L when she is at the arcade and encourages her to dance. Hesitant at first they quickly get into the music and eventually make amends Al spends the prom night with Lee and Rachel. L is having a fantastic time dancing with Lee reminiscing about their school. Bringing Noah on board increases the booth's chances of success but how will she persuade the legendary Noah Flynn. During the Flynn brothers party she begins her campaign to persuade Noah. When she arrives she notices Noah Finn hooking up with a female. She invites Noah to work for the booth. But he bluntly refuses. She is well aware that it will not be simple. Nevertheless she does not want to ruin her night and enjoys the party with everyone. She could have been having too much fun. As she becomes intoxicated she climbs on a pool table and starts stripping till she passes out utterly unaware that Noah is carrying her out the following day. Ella awakens in a state of panic after learning she is in Noah's bedroom. As she tries to get herself together she is stunned to see Noah suddenly stroll in half nude displaying his manhood L immediately gets off the bed revealing that she's only wearing Noah's shirt and underwear. Noah can't help but tease her while she tries to hide behind the curtains L tries to reach her shorts on the floor and at the same time Noah bends down to get them their heads bump causing L to fall on top of Noah and accidentally gropes him. 
She immediately leaves the room out of embarrassment. Al and Lee are working on the booth at school when they begin to fool around. They splash each other with paint as they play covering both of their faces. Later L goes to the restroom to wash the paint off but she is surprised to discover that she has accidentally entered Noah's football team's changing room while the rest of the squad celebrates L. Noah is enraged and urges her to leave. Despite knowing she needs to obey Noah, L feels compelled to resist him and demonstrate that he can't control her. So L removes her top and dances around. The boys exciting them up before leaving. The kissing booth is doing well on the fundraising event night with many people lined up to smooch the blindfolded kissers as everyone takes their turn to kiss Ellen Lee is confronted with a significant problem contrary to what they promise they have not persuaded Noah to join. They start kissing after this revelation. A security guard spots them angrily, remarking that Noah has brought other women here to Wells, is forced into a hot tub by one of the students at the nighttime beach party. Noah immediately comes to her rescue. When she sees him losing his temper L, convinces Noah to take her home. As they leave the guy provokes Noah, causing him to slam into him knocking the guy down into the sand while L flees. Noah follows her and urges her to get in the car. They take a detour to the Hollywood sign where L lays out a set of rules for their relationship to be a secret at least until L musters up the courage to tell Lee herself. Finding her bossy side cute Noah can't help but kiss his new girlfriend. L's feelings for Noah grow while furthering their intimacy by spending the night together despite her reservations. Noah's mother unexpectedly knocks while L discreetly visits her boyfriend's room. One day, she instantly hides beneath the bed afraid of being discovered as his mother, picks up his clothing. Before departing Noah's mother inquires about his plans to celebrate being admitted to college disclosing that he would be attending an Ivy League institution Harvard. Then it dawns on Al that Noah will be departing for college shortly leaving them with less time to spend together. But for the time being she must find out how to get out of Noah's room without anybody knowing. So Noah shows her the enormous trampoline he set up next to the pool. L jumps onto it subsequently diving into the water. L and Noah continue to date and spend time together behind her best friends. Back in the following days. On the other hand Lee is unaware since he is preoccupied with Rachel. L is in the garage one day fumbling for equipment to assist Noah in repairing his motorcycle when she inadvertently injures herself. While Noah is cleaning L's wound Lee walks in. Despite Elle's explanation Lee accuses his brother of injuring her and threatens to attack him if she doesn't come with him. Elle ultimately convinces Lee that Noah did not harm her when they are finally alone. Still the younger Flynn insists on leaving home with Elle. The girls are already expecting Noah to arrive next so Lee volunteers to be the kisser in his place. Blindfolded Lee emerges to the dismay of the females and the majority of them leave in disappointment. Their complaint saddenly until a girl named Rachel offers to kiss him Lee takes off his blindfold and is immediately smitten by the lovely lady making Al pleased for her best buddy an hour left before the kissing booth closes Lee has already left to hang out with Rachel an hour before the kissing booth shuts down when one of the female kissers learns that a geeky guy is next in line she withdraws to exact revenge on Al for lying to them. The girls force her to be a replacement. Unaware that Noah cuts in line making. Him the next person to kiss L the crowd. Is also surprised to witness the sudden. Turn of events but Noah seems to be. Amused. Blindfolded L keeps mumbling about. How she has never been kissed before. When Noah suddenly kisses her. She loves the kiss until she recognizes. Who it's from. When she realizes it is Noah her heart. Begins to race. And even though she knows it shouldn't happen she can't help but be thrilled as he continues to kiss her. The audience's roaring brings her back to reality and she remembers Lee as soon. As Noah leaves Elle seeks out Lee and tells him everything because the guilt is eating her up. Taken aback he warns that he will no longer speak to her if she doesn't adhere to rule number 9. Elle understands how strict the rule is for Lee who lives in the shadow of the legendary Noah Flynn. After cleaning up the booth Elle is unhappy when she discovers Noah with another girl as she hurries back home. Noah catches up with her and offers her 
a ride on his motorcycle on their journey home the rain begins to pour, fiercely prompting them to pull over at a park and seek refuge under a gazebo. L gives in to a sudden urge to kiss. Noah and Noah can't help but kiss her back. This causes L to pull away because she doesn't want to be another one of his conquests. Noah then admits that he's been drawn to her all along because she doesn't worship him and isn't scared to call him out on his mistakes. Year through the photograph shown, she feels even better when the organizers set up their kissing booth as one of the night's attractions until Noah appears shocking everyone. Then with all the strength he can summon, Noah declares to everyone that he loves L, but she refuses to acknowledge his feelings because she is frightened of hurting Lee again so she flees. Noah meets Lee at their home too, apologize for fighting him. He also tells his younger brother that his intentions towards L are sincere, reminding Lee that he departs for Boston. Tomorrow he wishes his younger brother a happy birthday. The next night Lee is dressed as a masked Batman and Ella's Batgirl for the costume birthday party even though Noah is reluctant they prepare to attend the party. Lee informs L that Noah is leaving for Harvard today. Lee believes this is for the best and L agrees but she still yearns for Noah the party begins and everyone including Lee is having a good time but all Al can think about is Noah and how much she will miss him. L unexpectedly leaves the gathering and Lee pursues her since she acts strangely. When they're alone L tells her story to Lee admitting that she's in love with Noah if her best friend can't accept this it might be best for them to part ways. When Lee sees how miserable L is he realizes he needs to break the rules they created when they were six years old he still believes Al is making a tremendous mistake by going after Noah. But he chooses to support her wishing only her happiness. Lee wants to accompany Ellen her search for Noah. They arrange to meet in the garage. After informing his parents of their plans later Elle is driving the car while Lee wearing the Batman mask sits in the passenger seat. Elle informs him during the trip that she regrets not telling Noah how she feels at the prom and that she is determined to tell him this time. Lee then removes the disguise showing that it has always been Noah L is so shocked that she nearly collides with another vehicle forcing Noah to pull her over. Noah begs L to tell him what she needs to know when the automobile comes to a stop. L then admits that she adores him they continue to spend time together until L drops him off at the airport they both find it tough to say goodbye but Noah assures L that they will make it work L gives Noah one more kiss before following him as he walks away trying desperately not to cry L exits the airport and rides Noah's motorcycle back home while fondly recalling the kissing booth that started it all I hope you guys enjoyed this video hit that like button if you did subscribe if you're new and at last I'll say stay well stay safe thanks